So I've just arrived at Prince's Park um, and I thought I should tell you a little bit about my divided loyalties today with Liverpool and London City Lionesses. Uh, one of the earliest memories that I have is of trying to get the door open in my granny and granddad's house. Um, the reason is because I wanted to see the Liverpool posters inside. My uncle was a huge Liverpool fan and instead of having just regular pictures and mirrors and stuff in the good room, um, the room was filled with Liverpool posters, Kevin Keegan, rosettes, scarves, everywhere. It was just, it's, they were all framed as well. It wasn't just like they were pulled out the middle middle section of Shoot magazine or something. They were all, they, they, they were all framed. And my uncle was maybe 15, 16 years older than me. So I was the eldest grandchild. So I kind of just fell into the Liverpool way and that is something that I've always been. I've always been a Liverpool supporter. I always knew the players' names when I was tiny. So that's how I'm a Liverpool supporter. Even though everyone else in our house was always a Man U supporter, I've always been a Liverpool supporter. First time I got to see them play was in a pre-season friendly. They played Dundalk in, I think it was probably 1994, 1995. Where does London City Lionesses come into this? Um, I'm embarrassed and shocked to say that this is the first year that I have taken any notion or interest in football that goes on around me here locally. And when I saw that London City Lionesses were completely independent, um, it was like, yeah, I could still support Liverpool. I could still support London City. And I didn't think today would happen this year. But now, uh, both teams are here in the FA Cup. Um, what London City Lionesses also give is something that you don't necessarily get a lot. Well, for me, um, most people, like Liverpool, uh, you kind of, you fall into it, you grow up in the, in the club, you grow up, the same in Ireland, you grow up in your Gaelic football club, you're born into your club, you play for that club, you play for your county. And it's the same, I think, with football clubs or soccer clubs here. And you support that. All your family support it, you support it. But when I found London City, it was something that I didn't think would ever happen. Didn't think it would. I thought I'd come to a few games, that was it. And there's something about these this team that is genuinely special. They've had a couple of really good seasons. They're not doing as good league-wise as they previously had. But Things are mad. This week has been crazy. And I do think that this team is a team on the up. And it's lovely to be able to say that you were there and you enjoyed the ride on the way up. Because I think these guys really, or girls, could really, really go places. Um, I love the mentality. I love the spirit. I love the, while it's still, technically a small fan base there's something about the camaraderie with the fan base getting to know them online and um, another thing is that it feels like an Irish club we've got four Irish internationals playing for the club now Megan Campbell joined last week and it feels like an Irish club and it feels something something that you're not always going to have the opportunity to get involved in and, and be a part of so yeah London City Lionesses I've seen them like I don't know how many times. I was here at the opening day of the season this year. I saw Liverpool four times so far this season. I'm going to see them against Brighton next weekend. And uh, I'm going to see London City Lionesses next against Arsenal this week. I was here last week and the week before. And um, yeah, it's, it's a mad day that I really didn't think would happen. But it's here. And it's going to be a tough one but I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Go on, Darren. You can do it. We trust in it. Go on, Paige.
No better place to do an update for the blog than here so we've been in we've been settling down everyone's looking sharp and what I'm really looking forward to now is how London City are gonna play there seems to be a different atmosphere on the pitch they've had a disastrous week in terms of cancellations with the Arsenal game that's gonna be on on Wednesday night looking forward to that but uh, they got rid of Carolina and Nicola and Darren has stepped in as interim manager and there's a little bit of a different atmosphere here today. The intensity before in the in the warm-up is just higher intensity. Um, they're moving on the ball more, there's a lot more. It's just a little bit of a buzz. And you know what? City could do anything today. So I'm really, really looking forward to this.
Keeping close, keeping close. Go on, Dan. Well done. That's it. That's four passes now, City. That makes five. They still have it. They still have it. That's it. Come on, Dan.
Mm. That's it. Nice turn. Enough fire power. Come on, dog! Come on, Nicole! Come on, Nicole! Well done. Ah, oh, that was stupid now. <laughs> blocker, blocker. That's it. Out of there. <laughs> Jenna Clark has so much time on the ball when she got to. Stop, Jenna Clark! Stop her! <laughs> Go on, that's it, that's it! Go on, Lois!
it's half time in Prince's Park and Liverpool lead 1-0 and uh, yeah I'm kind of surprised it's just 1-0 um, they scored after five minutes City have taken their time but they've, they've kind of come into it a little bit more Liverpool are dominating they're dominating possession we knew that they would but they're giving the backs way too much time on the ball. The forwards aren't pressing them at all. Uh, there's now and again that you'd love to give Chantel and Nicole just a little bit of a kick to go and press the backs a little bit. Jenna Clark is getting way, way too much space and time on the ball. And then she has that lovely pass up to um, Parry in the front and it's coming off every time. So they need to kind of press a little bit more. But um, there's, I'll play it back obviously later. There possibly was a penalty call. Uh, Rusha was fouled or it looked like she was being held back by, uh, I hate saying it, Neve Fahey, but it looked like she was. And uh, could have been one all. A couple of shots in, but not really any trouble for Rachel Laws in the Liverpool goal, where Grace Maloney has been nice and busy. Liverpool could have been and should, probably should be maybe three goals up, but it's just one nil and... Yeah, players are coming back out on the pitch. I'm looking forward to the second half. Let's go. Come on, City! If you're going to tackle them, tackle them up there instead of letting them go that far. Oh wow. To be quite honest with you, when you hear that and you hear what the direction they were getting at any other game, no direction. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, hard luck. Either shoot or make them fail you. That's it.
That's it, make them go back. Make them go back. A couple of high balls into Lozzie and you'll get there. Come on, City. That's it, Dan. Well done. Front row. Front row. You can take her. Oh, 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 no. Come Grace. Come on, Ruth.
Well done. And they're in a relegation battle. If they don't do something, they'll be out of work. Oh, great ball. Lois, the back post, come on, Lois. That's it. Fifteen minutes ago. Yeah. For God's sake. Uh, here we go.
Okay, Phuket. today I think there might be It. The game ends 2-0 and I have to say that London City can hold their heads up high because they did themselves proud. Um, after the first 10 or 15 minutes they held their own and they grew into it more and more and I would have loved to have seen the intensity that they had in the last 15 minutes throughout the game but that's something to work on. And I think overall it was really successful. First game under a new manager, two different levels, two divisions two separate divisions between the WSL and the championship. Sometimes it shows, um, but <laughs> lots to learn from that. Um, lots that London City should be really, really proud of. Um, and I can see from both sides and it's a bit of a killer. Um, they gave Jenny Clark loads and loads of space, way too much space. And I would have loved to have seen the forwards just press the backs a little bit more and um, you never know what can happen someone can slip up somewhere along the way but I really enjoyed today and um, I have to say as well thank you to Shanice van der Sanden um, for signing my WSL sticker book or well, my sticker of her and um, thanks to Rusha for the chats as well and um, yeah it was uh, quite the Irish kind of reunion there after the game it was quite cool actually um, really nice game really lovely afternoon uh, I'm looking forward to coming back here now on Wednesday Wednesday and um, London City take on Arsenal in the County Cup Valentine's Day oh yeah uh, what's gonna happen with that let's well I think as far as I'm aware Arsenal were beaten today so the County Cup is all they can win really this season so that could be interesting to say the least but that's it I think um, yeah all round Liverpool go forward into the next round London City no longer in the FA Cup but fantastic fantastic achievement and they held themselves to yeah, they were just great today I mean they were great for for what ha has happened over the last few weeks or few days even um, Darren in full time, slightly different way of playing, different team, different starting lineup. They did really, really well, and it bodes well for what is to come in the rest of the championship as well. But the championship is the main focus, has to be there. 
my next games that I'm going to here Wednesday night. We're going to see Arsenal and London City Lionesses. Then next weekend on Friday, it's Man City and Chelsea in Chelsea in, where is it? Kings Meadow. Is it Kings Meadow? Yeah, Kings Meadow. And then Saturday, Arsenal and Man U in the Emirates. Then Sunday, we're in Crawley to see Brighton and Liverpool again. So there you go. Thank you for joining me. Hope you like this kind of thing. If you do like it, like, subscribe, tell all your friends. I just make them because I like football, really. And um, yeah, so I'm delighted I had two loyalties today. Really enjoyed it. And I was never coming to go home smiling about either. But um, yeah, really enjoyable day. Loved it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And join me for the next one. Thanks for watching.